fits in. So a struggling comedian, you know, has this moment where he is doing this stand up and it almost feels as if his grip on reality is sort of unraveling and everything is starting to be blurred and you kind of get symbolism of that through seeing the audience portrayed as puppets also the dialogue in this piece is really strong his stand-up is essentially one long monologue and it has these moments where it builds and the performer is really able to connect um and really able to portray a wide variety of emotions so we see this arc um even going as far as rage at some point um really well done really greatly performed strong actor clearly Wits end. This was a very, very interesting exploration of a man's psyche, but also of the universal theme of control. In only 10 minutes, it manages to tell me so much about, um, or at least, yeah, explore different human dynamics about um, control over, some, over your own life, control over societal expectations, control over who you want to be. Um, what happens when you carry your lead your life with control and then what happens when you lead your life without control um, and this was all conveyed perfectly by a great um, performance uh, the lead actor literally leads carriers on his shoulder this uh, whole story and his performance um, in when he starts to spiral definitely left me with a kind of a heavy chested feeling so yeah if you can convey the emotion of the main character then you know that the story is working um, I really love technically how it plays with the audience expectations when it's revealed that the audience is just uh, populated by puppets um, it adds a sense of eeriness and, and isolation of the main character, which I really loved. And all of this was enhanced by a great sound design and a great set design, which gave me... Um, I feel like it was quite referential. I don't know if it was on purpose or just subconsciously, but there was a lot of the King of Comedy, of course. And then at the beginning, the long shot kind of gave me the same atmosphere of Birdman. Just a ma an artist spiraling. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really enjoyed watching this and it was very effective. Um, I thought Wit's End was really good. Um, I know it reminded me of Joker. I think that was intentional. Um, everybody's going to say that, but I think but I, what, what I liked about it is that y'all pulled it off, <laughs> Pull, it, which is an accomplishment in and of itself. Joker is hard to do, and it's uh, uh, hailed for its cinematography for a reason, because it one, it looks good, but it's also not easy, and y'all did it. Uh, small scale, but like you did it. I know Lawrence Sure somewhere is proud somewhere right now. Um, great job, Gr great acting, uh, great. Uh, also, the sound design because the thing is, a lot of what makes Joker and other Hollywood movies cinematography look even better is the sound design, and I think these filmmakers understood that. So, great job. This film is called Wit's End. This was an intriguing horror short. It was very layered and nuanced. The main character obviously has a lot of anger and resentment, which gradually comes out during the stand-up. And the many images are quite disturbing, such as the chilling clown paintings and the paper bag on his head. I thought it was brilliant for the soundtrack to be happy and upbeat at times when the visuals were disturbing and unnerving. The lighting was also quite ominous, including the lone stand-up light with the corresponding discordant laugh track. The lead actor was excellent, definitely at his wit's end. Well done.